I stopped by a roadside stand that said Lobster Tails $2. I paid my $2 and the guy says, Once upon a time, there was this lobster. Today, I'm going to recap a 2012 action thriller film called One in the Chamber. The film opens by introducing Demian Ivanov, the trusted associate of a mob boss named Vlad Tavanian, a prominent figure in the Tavanian Mafia Syndicate. Vlad and Demian are set to engage in a deal with a narcotics trader known as Nikolai Dvorak. In the midst of their rendezvous, Vlad receives a phone call from Mikhail Suvorov, the head of the Suvorov family, who are in a business partnership with the Tavanians. These two mafia organizations, the Suvorovs and the Tavanians, hold dominion over Prague, also being the primary traffickers of illicit substances and arms throughout numerous significant European cities, with Prague serving as their primary operational hub. The narrative shifts, portraying a man named Ray Carver retrieving a suitcase from a waste bin and hastily entering a building. Ray, a contract killer, has been employed by Mikhail, to eliminate Vlad Tavanian and his crew due to Mikhail's suspicions of the Tavanian family dealing in narcotics behind his back, a clear breach of their mutually agreed-upon terms. Already in his sniping position, Ray commences his onslaught on Vlad and his group, using his signature sniper rifle. All present scramble to avoid Ray's barrage of bullets. Nikolai finds a way out, and Demian survives by finding a hiding spot. However, Vlad, the patriarch of the Tavanian Syndicate, is not so fortunate. Upon ascertaining the source of the sniper fire, Demian immediately instructs his crew to hunt down the shooter. Conversely, Ray makes a hasty retreat post-completion of his assignment. However, as Ray is on his way out, he is cornered by Demian's goons who instantly attack him due to his conspicuous demeanor. Ray, facing tremendous adversity, manages to evade the onslaught, retaliates, sheds his sweater, and seamlessly merges with the crowd. The subsequent day, Demian contacts Mikhail, threatening vengeance for Vlad Tavanian's murder. Demian's threats are far from idle, as he commands his goons to detonate Mikhail's vehicle parked in proximity to his location. Mikhail is enraged to learn that Ray had not effectively completed his assignment, which has now put him in the crosshairs of Demian's vengeance targeting the Suvorov family. Mikhail's sibling, Bobby, proposes that they hire the wolf, a mythical hitman often regarded as a mere urban legend. However, Bobby assures Mikhail of the wolf's existence. Bobby manages to obtain information regarding the wolf, who happens to be a man named Alexei Andreev. Upon establishing contact, Bobby immediately requests Alexei to meet Mikhail to negotiate their professional agreement. In the meantime, elsewhere, following a phone call from Bobby, Alexei needs to complete his ongoing task of debt collection from some gangsters. Notwithstanding Alexei's unassuming demeanor and laid-back attitude, the gangsters completely undervalue his capabilities. Nevertheless, Alexei demonstrated his skills as a renowned hitman by effortlessly overpowering the gangsters and ensuring they fulfilled their obligations. Concurrently, Ray is engaged in a discussion with a man named Leo Crosby, who also earns his living as an assassin. Leo was dispatched by Demian to propose a new assignment to Ray, the elimination of Mikhail and Bobby Suvorov. Despite knowing that Ray was the one contracted by Mikhail to execute his boss Demian, he is notably impressed by Ray's proficiency and is prepared to double the remuneration offered by the Suvorovs. Enticed by the lucrative proposition, Ray instantly accepts. In the meantime, Alexei, having arrived at Mikhail Suvorov's abode, consents to a proposition put forth by Bobby and Mikhail. Their objective is to eradicate Demian and his entire crew. Alexei's strategy involves initially targeting Nikolai, the primary narcotic supplier for the Tavanian Mafia. Alexei successfully subdues Nikolai underlings and breaches his residence, nonchalantly awaiting Nikolai's completion of his swim before shooting and killing him. On another front, Raid is spotted in a cafe, where he intervenes to rescue the cafe owner Janice from a disorderly, intoxicated patron. When Ray's jacket is stained during the altercation, Janice insists on cleaning it. Ray initially declines but eventually acquiesces. As Janice retreats to attend to Ray's jacket, Ray makes a swift exit. Concurrently, Gregory, Demian's trusted lieutenant, 
is enjoying a gambling session with his comrades at his residence. Shortly thereafter, Alexei arrives on the scene and massacres everyone present. In another location, as Bobby is engaged in a conversation with a woman, Ray, now under Demian's employ, approaches and abruptly shoots and kills Bobby. Witnessing his brother's demise, Mikhail is overwhelmed with rage and vows revenge. Simultaneously, Demian receives a phone call from one of his surviving members, informing him of the deaths of Nikolai, Grigori, and the rest of his crew. This news incenses Demian, strengthening his resolve to annihilate the Suvorov family and their entire gang at the earliest. The subsequent day, Ray is taken aback by Janice's unexpected arrival at his home. She has come to return the jacket he had left at her cafe the previous day. Ray inquires how she managed to track down his residence. Janice explains that she discovered an envelope in Ray's jacket pocket bearing his home address. Shortly after, Mikhail apprehends Leo and interrogates him regarding the identity of the assassin responsible for his brother's death. However, Leo attempts to shield Ray by providing false information. At the same time, Ray is strategizing at his base to execute Mikhail. His plan, however, is disrupted by Alexei, who is also on site and seemingly aware of Ray's presence. Simultaneously, Demian discovers that the one responsible for the deaths of Nikolai and his minions is the Wolf, a mythical Russian hitman rumored to be the stuff of legend. As a result, Demian is resolved to track down the Wolf and eliminate him personally. One day, Janice pays Ray a brief visit at his apartment. Janice appears intrigued by Ray, but he is cautious about becoming too entangled with her, given his knowledge of her prior to their encounter at the cafe. Ray receives a phone call from Leo advising him to evacuate his apartment and distance himself as far as possible, as Mikhail and his crew are on his trail. Leo discloses that he was coerced into revealing Ray's location to Mikhail under threat of death. However, Ray seems nonchalant, as he had anticipated this development. Meanwhile, Janice, having inadvertently stumbled into Ray's study, stumbles upon his true profession as a hitman. More shockingly, she realizes that Ray was responsible for her father's death. Ray is helpless to deny the truth. Devastated by this revelation, Janice hastily exits. Shortly thereafter, Alexei arrives at Ray's apartment with the intent to kill him. A brutal battle ensues between the two hitmen. After a flurry of attacks, Ray succeeds in overpowering Alexei. However, he refrains from killing him and opts to flee the scene instead. Back at his residence, Alexei is puzzled as to why Ray chose to spare his life and escape. Soon after, Demian and his crew raid Alexei's residence, but Alexei foresees the assault and dispatches them all. The next day, Ray gets a call from Leo, informing him that Mikhail has summoned him to Janice's cafe. Concerned for Janice and Leo's safety, Ray hastens to the cafe as per Mikhail's command, seemingly resigned to his impending doom. However, Ray has already formulated a plan of action and promptly commences his assault on Mikhail's men. Leo joins forces with Ray, leading to an inevitable gunfight, which ultimately costs Leo his life. Ray then confronts Mikhail, who is holding Janice captive. Ray ruthlessly eliminates all of Mikhail's men, standing in his path to Janice, culminating in a standoff with Mikhail, who is menacing Janice with a gun. Mikhail demands Ray drop his weapon and shoots him in the shoulder. Just as Mikhail is about to finish off Ray, Alexei makes a sudden appearance and instantly kills Mikhail. With minimal conversation, Alexei retrieves the bag of money and promptly exits the scene. A few days post the incident, as Ray is entering his home, he is taken aback by Alexei's unexpected presence. Alexei is still intrigued as to why Ray didn't seize the opportunity to kill him when he had the chance. Ray explains that his contract did not include Alexei's elimination, hence his decision to spare him. Alexei confesses his exhaustion with constantly obeying orders to execute targets for substantial paychecks. Ray and Alexei both come to the realization that they are essentially pawns in a vast gang war. As a result, they decide to collaborate and eradicate every Mafia member in Prague's criminal underworld. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.